Okay, I'm going in. Okay, this is interesting. The visuals always are. I'm seeing myself as though from sitting in your chair, as though I'm facing myself sitting here. So this is another of the mirroring type of effects. I'm actively talking. My eyes are open. My hands and arms are moving in conjunction with what I'm saying. It's interesting because I'm wearing the same thing that I am now as though this is somehow happening right now. Are you aware of me with you? I am only looking into this room at myself speaking. As though, for example, from your position, As though seeing what you are seeing from where you are sitting, however, I am moving quite differently than how I am sitting here before you now. The cushion I am sitting on is missing. It is a more active and more dynamic conversation. Hmm. Do you get a timeline here? The idea of a timeline is not present, most prevalent is the reverse of the positions, not experiencing this as though sitting in my own seat, but in the seat of another. Who is facing me. I'm going to see if I can get myself into the presence who is viewing this. It is clearly not me, not my person, as I am sitting where I am and not across from me, not facing me. As I do this, the scene that is my room and myself in the room is receding. It's being pulled back and back and back, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The geometry of this is as a tunnel wider at the mouth, narrower, the deeper in. I can see the geometrical structure now 
the grid sort of pattern. Um, the lines of this grid pattern are, as is quite common, in an aquamarine on the green side of aquamarine hue. It is as a blueprint drawing. However, we're in the black and not on the blue piece of paper that often blueprints are drawn upon. On this blueprint structure is now um, twisting as though being ringed out like a rag. The mouth of the shape is being sucked into what is now the shape of the structure. Can you go into the structure? I am both going in and am, and am observing this all. So now we are in the shape of a seashell. There are multiple ideas, concepts, visuals patterning out of this one. The first being a snail. The next being a scene in which a small child, not quite a toddler, is in a small pedal car, feet on the ground and is pedaling the car around. There is a parent figure behind the child. There's a large open window shining in a great amount of light now capturing my attention. Are you going into the light at the window? I have many choices here. Let's see which one I choose. There is now a world that looks like the Earth planet as seen from outer space. There are hands clasped with one another in a circle around the globe.
what message do you get from this? I am being told one moment, one more. Mm. What's got your attention? One moment. What is perhaps a sea creature? With multiple extensions coming off of each side. It is coming out of the water. There is a man standing here with gray tennis shoes and brown pants. And the idea of this sea creature coming spiraling up the legs around the body. Can you communicate to the man? It is not my intent or feeling to do so. I am following the concepts. I was almost into the next. What are you seeing now? I am not. One moment. Imagine two picture books, books in which there are pictures of scenes of environments and these two books not connecting Can you see into the environments in the books? I will drop what I'm doing and follow your questions. One moment. There are the concepts of the feminine, of water, of a butterfly, 
of transformation of a swirling of energies of the movement from girlhood to womanhood Where is this leading you? At the moment, just into the movement. From the one point into the other point. And there is a, another conceptual field attempting to enter. Here we are in an aircraft hangar. There is a white and red Cessna type airplane. It originally had a long point extending off the front. like the stinger of a bee. It is this which first was used to intersect the other scene. But now it appears just as a normal Cessna crowd. There are a few people down there. In brown camel type colored coveralls. Can you see what they're doing? <coughs> One is looking through ledgers These ledgers look from about the 1920s era, perhaps, perhaps earlier. Where is this leading you to? To another man, an older man, in another place. He's standing on a ladder. I 
can't quite tell what he's doing, but there is a small window up here. Can you look through the window? I can drop what I'm doing if you wish. What are you doing now? I am attempting to understand the concept of a watering can and pouring water over an open book, the open pages of an open book. We are now looking into another space. The open backyard type area of a home, grass and trees and rather idyllic. but we are quite some distance from here. There is a hand that something is being handed to me uh, by a little person, not human. Long skinny fingers It looks like a light bulb. Wow, the energy just is now changing inside here. What can you feel here? Mm -hmm a lightness, a sort of ease. A uh, refocusing of my eyes. I am looking into a patch of brown and yellow. What does the brown and yellow patch belong to? It is the body of another being. Which is rather blending into the contents of its environment. Can you communicate with this being? Are you getting a concept? I have been asking if we could speak. I 
I said hello. I asked that this being would speak with us. This being did not know it was being detected and has flown off in this direction. What has your attention now in this scene? It's craft. Can you describe its craft? It looks like an octopus. When the body is like so, not when it is open and spread out like so, but when it is like this. This concept and this craft is common to many of my experiences. It is used in many of my conscious exits from the physical space. Can you use this craft? Are you asking if I am welcome? If I may enter? Yes, can you go into the craft? Can you use the craft? I can ask. Yes, I can come in. Are you inside the craft now? I am inside a craft that is more earth-based. There is an astronaut in full gear. What can you sense from the astronaut? Watching the launching of this rocket, 1964. And this all seems very random to me. Do you get a sense to go somewhere else? I do not get a sense of any message or any particular purpose in going through these events. I am asking where the destination is.
I am inside a cave. Just inside the opening of the cave. Can you go in? I am already in. I am inside the opening. I am facing the cave opening. White light. I'm with my attention into the white light. Can you get into light and see where it takes you? Now what do you see? At first, I am thinking it is the outside of a mountain, but this is a very large being. Hmm. What's this being like? <laughs> At first, I am thinking I am seeing a large claw come down to pick me up, but it turns into a foot. <laughs> and as though I am being stepped upon, this is a manner of play. This is not meaning me any harm. It is partially bird-like. What can you do to play back? Just as I am. Giggle. Understand that this is an introduction. A playful introduction. Can you communicate to it? I am following a different line. Well, the concepts are all being put together here. I am on a planetary body of some sort, not necessarily a planet, could be a moon. Not ours. There is daylight here. The soil is brown, earth colored.
There is a landing pod. There is a man and a woman. And they are coupling. <laughs> What else has your attention there? I'm seeing if I can get closer. We're still in the area where everything seems caricature-like. It's very common to the dream state. The further from the actual location, The more cartoon-like it is, the closer you get, it turns from cartoon-like to caricature-like, taking on some of the formations of the actual people, the actual world, the actual events, I am seeing if I can get into the more actualized space. This means closer to having my feet on the ground, as it were. I am almost there. Yes, this is the man from the rocket, the 1964 launch, the same gear is upon him, it is white, it has a red stripe around the arm here. Can you see his name? Hmm. Not easily. I can see him. He is more actually in his current time frame, an older man, and he appeared in the more caricature-like version. He was bald on the top, and has hair over the ears and around the back. What's he doing at this location? Dreaming. He's dreaming in this scene. What can you see in the dream? What I have thus far described. The possible moon, not ours, the land. The landing shuttle, he and a female. Well, 
Well, it has your attention here. My own thoughts. I do not wish to enter any more fully this man's dream in the activity here. I am going to give him his space back and am receding. There is another missile launch. This missile looks very different than ours. It is thinner. It is a color I cannot describe. Well, I will say camel colored toward the orange end of the spectrum of the camel type color caramel type color. Where is this missile going? It may not be a missile so much as a stealth type craft capable of a straight upward Trajectory, yes, not a missile. I see the extensions that are not common to a missile. Does this craft have occupants? The concept of the craft and of the straight upward movement is more a concept indicating an elevation of our own consciousness, our own location. We are ascending into a higher frequency. A feeling of lightness and almost weightlessness here. What can you see here? Soft. Cloud-like formations and colors. A opening, a light shining through an opening, a doorway, a white area. A white wizard, a large tree, all white. Mm -hmm. I am being welcomed into this opening, into this light what can you see in here just white
Something hard to swallow. And to talk. This is a reunion. Can you get a sense of what it has welcomed you in here? Myself. Any of the energies that comprise myself, these are the magical and the mysterious and the, the wonderful. What can you do here? Recharge. Realign. It is like rain coming down and washing. Everything clean. I am hearing the phrase full spectrum analysis. Is your whole system being cleansed? It is being analyzed and in my own experience, my own perception, yes, it is as a cleansing. Hmm. Not just a cleansing, but a cleansing that is occurring to my full knowing. This is absorbed into the body and through the systems very differently than when not to our full conscious knowing. The experience does not come through to the completeness. As it does when it is something being fully consciously experienced. Are you able to increase your awareness? Hmm. Many little beings carrying sacks Of um, 
What is the correct concept of what is not necessary, of what has been accumulated, the way there are so many of them? I have a sense of energy, can you feel? Mm. I cannot find an adequate concept. One moment. Not alone, not without help. And no longer as burdened. What do you see now? Still see them. And there is also likewise a large spiral opening down there, black at the face. This is going to be the black hole that brings me home back here to the earth space. <laughs> when do you want to return? There's a ladder. They're all going down there on the ladder, riding the ladder like firemen do down the ladder, not by walking the steps, but by sliding with the hands and feet on the rails, meaning fast, <laughs> going through the fast way. Yes, I'm being pulled down this way as well. Where are you now? Is that you back? Mm -hmm. I can feel the weight of my body and the pain in my shoulders now again. Are you back to the void back here? Not quite yet. The star field is still there. My brain waves are still in theta. I can very clearly see the Geometric color patterns. Home. To me, this is what is most principally home, where I spend most of my time from this area. No 
sounds nice. Send it good. <laughs> Send it good. <laughs> I try my best this time to kind of lead it around and try to go into places, and but uh, I was trying my best to keep up with you. Mm -hmm. But uh, interesting, all the same. Yeah, that was fine. That was good. It hasn't stopped. I can't see it. Even with my glasses on, everything is a blur. Yeah, my brain waves are still in theta. Light theta is shifting now. I noticed that myself when I was doing that, it could take a, a moment. You, you can't, sometimes I couldn't even open my eyes. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I had to wait for ages to, 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 to even open my eyeballs. <laughs> if you come out too fast and that happens. Or if you're coming out and you don't quite want to and you're just attaching yourself more strongly to those frequencies even though you're here like what i'm doing now um that is by the way just to mention as we do make these talks public um how to get your recall when you're doing recall yeah when you get good at identifying the brainwave frequencies, those structures, what that feels like when you're in that structure, um, then yes, you can easily put your attention there and just attach to it. Be here, but attach to it. And it's sort of what brings forward the, the flows, the information and energy flows and the dream streams and environments and remembering of where you are in them, even right here now, as you're here. Mm -hmm. I have a fascinating experience today. The as I'm putting my attention more consistently back onto the OBE specifically, and uh, documenting them specifically, and absorbing the concepts. Um, the beings are here with me much more. And normally when they come this far down into the, the proximity of my physical space, I'm having a hard time talking. Um, usually it's nighttime. This is at the top of the night where this more generally happens. And they're manually moving me like, I can feel the hands on me and pushing me over onto my side and pushing my back up into a sitting or whatever movement they're they're making. I can feel them here and feel the hands on me and feel that I'm being moved. Um, but this was happening this morning. Uh, this normally does not happen in this fashion in the morning. And this tells me that we're going full throttle now. Uh, that I've made the opening for them to come through at any time into any spatial relationship with me they, they choose. And yeah, so I'm, I, I notice I, I keep, every time my brainwaves are coming back through beta, through the cycles, I'm noticing I'm back on my back. And I knew I didn't put myself on my back. I knew that I kept putting myself onto my side. Uh, and this one time I wake up and uh, my crystal is laying right here. Well, it's never laying right here. I never hold my crystal like this. It's always in my arms down at my sides. And when I'm curled up in a ball, my hand automatically takes it to the back of my head. So it's never right there. Um, and I woke up and I mean, I didn't wake up, but the brainwaves cycle through beta, and I'm aware I'm on my back again. I'm like, wow, I'm staying on my back pretty good this morning. And I'm like, no, 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 I didn't put myself on my back. And then my hand immediately goes here, and my crystal is here, and I'm like, well, that is exceptionally odd. And then I, I remembered, oh, yeah. You know, in the previous cycle, I had awareness of them in the room and like literally pushing me. <laughs> Like having to actually sort of struggle to push me too, um, you know. 
usually I, I go through these three rotations and more commonly it's it's in awareness in the consciousness field and i can feel myself rotating from my horizontal position you know to straight up and down and then they'll reverse it to where i'm facing this way instead of this way and then there's usually one other move and that move can be different each time but on the third move i'm out Periodically, I find that it's done more manually, more physically, more in a closer proximity, again, to my physical space. And this is when I can feel them in the room and their hands on me and I'm literally pushing me <laughs> and <laughs> making the three rotations manually, <laughs> like literally from the physical space. Such an interesting thing. Um, yeah, so that was that was just this morning, and I I can hear them now. Oh, we're here! Oh, we're here! Oh, we're here! These are the elementals, yeah, <laughs> the ones that are always very excited that that repeat themselves multiple times. Those are the elemental beings. Yeah, El Lisa never loves your crystal. <laughs> this is that one at least. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> and that's just somewhere that it never is going to be. I, I don't I don't hold myself that way. Um, if I'm going, I do have a position that I go into quite frequently during conscious shifts, and that's like in a like in a position you would be in a coffin, literally with the feet somewhat together and feet crossed one crossed over the other, and the hands held right here. But I would never do that if I had a crystal in my hand. And you know, I, I do my work now with the crystal in my hand. So that's not a position, and I wasn't consciously trying to have the conscious shift. I was just going in for data recovery. So curled up on my side, which is easier for me to hold on to my clear quartz point, and then Amalia, which is an azurite crystal in, in this hand. And yeah, and multiple times they put me onto my back. What does the, 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 the crossed leg mean? Because that, that's how I like doing it. I can't do that without my legs crossed. I can't lie in leg, legs like that. My legs have to be crossed over. I can't never lie or sleep without my legs crossed. Unless I'm going to my side, but on my back, my legs must be crossed. Does that mean anything at, at I don't all? think it means anything. It's just that, you know, in the circum certain circumstances, that's the more comfortable position. And so that's what I do. Yeah. Highly common for the nap time for me to go into that position in particular. If you know, I'm going to catch a nap midday. Yeah, my feet are always crossed. I can't do it any other way. Because <laughs> yeah. some folks say, oh, that, that blocks your energy or something, but I've never, I don't know, who knows? I don't know. You're not supposed to close your legs or something, but I can't do it any other way, I suppose. When you're not very good at something, when you don't have it going yet, you'll find that there's a lot of rules because these rules tend to more genuine, generally make it um, more apt to occur. You know, so you do this and this and this. But yeah, when, once you do have something going, you know, there, there's no more rules. So I, I'm someone who doesn't have to lay perfectly still to go in for data recovery. Yeah, I can move and roll from one side to the other and have thoughts in my head and put my earplugs in and my mindful mask on, you know, because the family gets up about the time I'm doing my data recovery and the kids are loud. And, you know, sometimes the wind is just, well, today we had gale force winds and the chimes were just, I mean, they were hitting the wall and I mean, it was, it was really loud. So, yeah, I can, I can do things and it not affect me. And I, I can OBE from my side, from either side, on my stomach, on my back, uh, doesn't matter. No. How was my question stuff tonight? Was it helpful or was it better? Or? It was more natural. It was more you and not so much me, you attempting to do a suggestion. So that was very helpful. Yeah. Um,
what captures my attention in there is very different than, you know, I understand why the person on the outside wants to go for detail. I do too when I'm on the outside. Okay, well, let's get in, let's tell a story here. <laughs> but when I'm in there, like the story is almost, the, I just want to get the basic concept. I want to understand why we're here. What is the connection between me and why I'm right here? And so uh, I'm not paying attention so much to, to out here. <laughs> I'm more trying to feel what the connection is, why it is I'm here, why it is I'm, okay, I'm being shown this because, you know, uh, what is the purpose of this happening? And so I'm often going in a different direction. So if you're asking for details, I'm going to have to stop and put down what I'm doing to go into it. Um, so is it better to ask what concepts are you getting, what are you feeling about? Who you are? To do is just the, what, what is coming up to you. If I really don't want to put down what I'm doing, then I'm I I can just tell you. Yeah. Sometimes you know the fields are opening so fast that you're asking me two fields after the fact what was happening back there, and yeah, I, I won't go back. Um, sometimes, in some situations, they're all sort of happening there concurrently, and I can easily go you know into one field and or another you know and still be aware of everything that's happening in them all and this one it started out to where i i i couldn't do that that was the book that was the two books that I couldn't enter penetrate <laughs> it was like i was seeing this hard line where one couldn't get into the other but then you asked me if i could see into one of them and so i went into one and then they started opening yeah, so that's what works for me. I'm doing that, if I go into things, it opens up to scenes, it blows open for me. And I just keep going into stuff. That's why I keep asking you what it's saying. I'll, I'll try and go through the window or something because it always opens up to something else when I do that. Mm -hmm. And that leads me on elsewhere. But my, mine happens much slower than yours. I, I can be in there quite a while, one scene and go about one scene, then I'll change once I've been to something. It could be a cup, it could be anything. I, I didn't have cups the other day, I didn't have a cup and it changed into something there. Stuff like that. Mine just works a bit different. But I'm trying to learn how to. to Talk, into them. talk slower because I couldn't uh, hear anything you just said. Uh, I need to practice as well. <laughs> I need to practice speaking slower. <laughs> but that's my scenes last longer, and I kind of I go into things. I, I'll go into cups and it was a, things like a goblet, I've been to the goblet, and that blew through into there somewhere else. So that's how mine would go. So yeah. I, I try to put you into things to go in there and see where, see where that went. That's how it worked. Um, yeah for me so i try to bring that but yours is working faster and different so i can see the in between mm. so i'm also conscious often from the shift in from one scene into another so i see the geometrical patterns and the you know i can see the shift part of it so you can see the bit where it's actually going to form the scene is that what you mean yeah Patterns before it actually formed up. Multiple fields. I can be in the potentiality field, the blueprint field, and the actualized fields, you know, which are the physical like environments. Yeah. So all of them that may make it seem like things are happening faster because there's there's more there. Like some people, when they switch scenes, and sometimes when I switch scenes, it's a fade to black and then a fade right into another. But even equally as often, it's not. It's a fade toward black, at which point I start to see the motions and the geometric color patterns, and I begin to see the shift, <laughs> you know, and everything that happens on the way into that other field. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm always trying to get out of the mundane. Um, I don't like to be left in the mundane. Something if there, sometimes if there's something fun happening, like that 1950s thing that was happening, and it was like each each field was the same, so the concept kept being the same in different fields. You know, different kitchens, and different women in different kitchens, and <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that, that's and they were all the 1950s. You know, and so that will capture my attention, you know, because it seems, okay, I'm being shown a particular pattern. And okay, we'll just keep seeing the pattern. And that, that's usually to do something energetically inside my system. 
um, no. But you know, if I can't fit concepts together, I I have a tendency to get frustrated. Where are we going? And let's just go there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But they have to they have to shift the energies to get me there it's just that often i'm getting frustrated in the you know as the shift of energies happens especially if it's monday if i can't if they can get me in there i'm not frustrated if i'm boots on the ground literally can't look down you know my feet are on the ground just like they're right now here on the ground if i can get that far in it's different but if it's like from far away you know and I can see, I have to really try to see and, you know, but if I don't know why I'm there, it's like, it pulls me further away than in, you know, it's like, show me why we're here. I'm talking to you guys right now. Yeah, don't just put me somewhere. Give me a clear idea of why I'm there. That would be so helpful. <laughs> we are, we are, we are. <laughs> okay, well, make it in my system then to where I am fully receiving that concept. <laughs> we are, we are, we are. <laughs> We're trying our best case. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that took up our whole time. Let's look at um, an additional day. So three days a week rather than two, so that on one of the days of the week, there's specifically time for you to go in. And if you can't get in there, then at least dialogue and suggestions and things like that, working it out for the next week practice. Um, I have to now complete my eating by five o'clock my time. So this is going to be challenging to find another day. That's not too late for you. That works with your new set bedtime schedule. And <laughs> so let me think about this over this week. And we'll come up with that day. Okay. No problem. We'll, we'll find a space somewhere. But I've been doing that quite regularly now. I've been surprisingly very quick in. And a, a few good experiences and a few travels around where I've been doing it. And one being keeps coming up to me. I said, I drew it actually. I got a grey, bluey, greeny colour. Let me see it. Didn't have any enjoyment, but that was it anyway. <laughs> very angular face, very long, very tall. Uh -huh. It comes right a few fingers. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. very similar, let me say, to the, remember when I went into the orange-brown color and came into the backside of a, a being, you know, that would be very similar to the outline of the being I was seeing, uh, not gray, uh, more brown than gray. Mine is uh, not gray either, but gray, blue, green, a, a combination of gray, blue, green color, <laughs> quite, quite an unusual color. Very, very, I, I can't draw it right, but that's, that's, that's that was the features of it that I get. It comes quite well. You know, there were three of them, one came right forward, but two stayed in the, in the kind of light shadow east. There was three of them there. I got those. And the last one I got there, I was in a, a, a similar to your cave scenes, I've been in cave scenes. And it started as just shadows, but all the shadows became beings, and then just little light, little light eyes. And they wanted energy. So what I was, what I was doing, I was bringing down energy through this hand. I was putting energy out this hand, and I was feeding that to this energy. And that went on for a little while. Then it started getting all fun, and it was an interesting, an interesting encounter. <laughs> but yeah, a few things, interesting things going on when I go in there. Document those. Yeah, I need to try to document them. Wow. And it gave me a, a meditation space. It put me in a desert, put me under the desert into a massive big chamber with a big gold chair. <laughs> we have a thread that's all ready for our channeling practices. Log those experiences there. Yeah, so between sessions and practices that's there for you to refer back to and it's for others to observe the process. Um, 
Yeah, I, I would like to hear about those. You also have Zoom. You can also sit in front of your Zoom camera, push the record button, and do this just like we're doing this right here, only by yourself, you know, and saying what it is you're seeing. That would be easier than even having to document it after the fact. Because then no, you can no, 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 no. that video to your YouTube, and then you can link from your YouTube into Veer. Right, I'll have a go at recording that because I can just sit and do it. <laughs> I can just sit and do that quite easy. Uh, really fast, though. It doesn't even take long. Really fast. Right. We're getting into the area of sharing this with others, not letting it be just for you. Putting it out there is a way to begin sharing it with others, encouraging others, showing others the process, and also creating a log for ourselves, which again is for our reference to go back and look to, to find patterns that we miss when we don't log, when we don't journal. So a lot will get by you. So if you don't log it, yeah. And again, not logging just for ourselves, but for everyone. If you really do want to turn up the speed dial, you know, and have things happening faster, that's the maneuver to make. Again, so long as you're just doing it for yourself and keeping it to yourself, only so much can come. That's only an opening that's only so big. But when you open it up to everybody, that's a huge opening and a lot yeah. can come through it. And mm, a different It'll be different. It will include so much more. Yeah. Because it's for everyone, not just for you. Yeah, so more information comes out for them as well. So it all comes all come all comes through. <laughs> get more out of it then. So sort of idea. You you get what's just for you. With everyone, you get what's for you and everyone. Yeah. Uh-huh. Try to zoom. I'll try and get the same thing working so I can record it and stick it on the YouTube channel. So what you do is just record it, and then you, what, you, what you do is you just transfer it straight to YouTube, do you? I believe you can. I don't. I transfer them to my computer, then edit them, because <laughs> I edit out the gaps, you know. I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. That's what I'm saying. The reason for doing this would be to make the process simpler than documenting it after the fact, and then documenting again through typing onto the... Uh, boards, you know, this would be fast. You're doing it all at once. And yes, I believe you can just share it directly to YouTube and then you can link from YouTube to the site. Yeah, so that's five. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll figure it out and see what I can do. Okay, I have to head out because I have to go get my meal now. <laughs> I've always settled down for my schedule. That's me, you got an hour left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I have an hour le left to eat, and um, I only eat now, uh, and you have just an hour before you've got to get yourself to assume the position for the next seven, eight hours. 